Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, hey, be good, but be good to yourself too. What on earth do I mean? Well, this is something I've been thinking about for a little while now and something which I've been dealing with. So being good seems a little bit of a childish statement, doesn't it? But actually, we all try to be good in this world, don't we? We try to be good humans, we try to be good people, we try to always do the right thing, we try to always be good in our choice making, we try to always please everybody, we try to always please family, friends, um, our work colleagues, and we always try to do good. But sometimes that can get exhausting, and sometimes we often make these decisions and we continue this, this goodness at the detriment of ourselves. And sadly, unfortunately, I've had the issues of that lately where I've been trying to do so much and I've been trying to um, really keep up on absolutely everything that unfortunately I've fallen down a little bit. And quite literally, a couple of weeks back, I did fall over and um, where I was just trying to, I'm not going to mention who I was trying to help and I was trying to help a brother <laughs> and um, I went absolutely flying. And since then, it got me thinking. Unfortunately, I did do myself some injury, but I'm okay now. Um, but it, but it did get me thinking, and I thought to myself, do you know what? Yeah, do you know what? I so often try to always do the right thing, and now I'm talking life, and I'm talking career-wise, and I'm talking sort of um, myself, not family, because things have happened in my family in the last couple of months, which I wouldn't have any other way. My mum's just had major surgery, and, and she's doing incredibly well, and I've always wanted to be there, and I said from the offsite that she was my priority, and getting her through that was my priority. This is not what that's about. There are priorities in our life, and they have to take centre stage. They absolutely have to. But sometimes when you're trying to juggle striving for a successful career, you're also trying to buy your first house, or you're trying to keep everybody happy when you've got such a big family with so many things going on at once, but your heart, of course, is set on this one paramount thing which is so, so important to you. But yet, you're also trying to keep everything okay at work. You're also trying to do a little bit more extra at work. You've also just got something else going on. You've also probably got something else in the background, all these things. So put that in your life. You're going through something at the moment. Perhaps you're really trying to do something, or perhaps you're struggling with work, or perhaps you've just had a promotion, or perhaps you've got a bit of a difficult family. Perhaps sometimes there's some issues going on. Perhaps people don't always get to get on with one another. Perhaps you've got friends, perhaps one thinks one thing, one thinks another. It's difficult, isn't it, pleasing everybody? It's difficult always being good, as to speak. To do the right thing, absolutely. But sometimes when we're saying yes, 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 it's at the detriment of ourselves. And unfortunately, just like me, you get to a point and it all comes crashing down. And unfortunately, it could quite literally be a fall. Now, I don't just mean a fall from grace. I mean, literally, you can start to see your effects in your health. You can start to see that stress is starting to take over a little bit for you. Perhaps one of the first things you're noticing is your sleep is suffering, which is so important to be healthy and to stay and have good well-being. And of course, it starts to affect our health on a physical level as well. It's so important to also make time for you. So even though you're being good and you're being a brilliant person, are you being brilliant and are you being good and kind to yourself? Because ultimately you have to look after yourself and you have to keep yourself strong and keep yourself in a good place to be able to carry on helping and looking after everybody else. Do you fall in a bit of a natural position in life where actually you look after and you take care of people? You guide and you take care of friends or you guide and you look after family or you guide and you get people through the difficult times. Yeah, that's me. And I'm sure there's many people out there watching this. But sadly, unfortunately, when you've got health problems in the background, a little bit like me, or if you've got things going on which sometimes takes paramount, like, for example, my mum's surgery, which your whole attention you want to put there because they're so, so important. And in that time, nothing else matters to you, but yet you're being polite and kind about it as well, and you're trying to help others. Perhaps you've got something else going on in your life. Perhaps it could be financial, monetary. Perhaps it could be relationship. Perhaps you've just had a baby. Perhaps you've just got married. Perhaps you just want to take moments out of life completely, but yet you can't because of so much chaos and hecticness and just life doesn't really make way for it. I know exactly what you're thinking. But to be good, to be kind to everybody, you have to keep yourself in a strong position. You have to keep yourself in a position where you can look after yourself because you have to be strong, you have to be in a good place, and you have to be good where you are in life to be able to sustain that and to be able to continue doing that for everybody else as well. So yes, be good, 
but also be good to yourself. And that's not always easy. I could be guilty of neglecting myself, absolutely. But sometimes it takes something like what happened to me a couple of weeks ago, a real hard stern fall, to wake us up and think, well, actually, that weekend I was probably doing a little bit too much. And actually, probably, it was while I was rushing around and I was trying to do so many things all at once, and actually I just came crashing down, quite literally. So for you, think of it hypothetically. Are you almost on burnout? Are you doing so much trying to be good and to be brilliant and to look after everybody else? And actually, you're feeling as though in a moment I could just completely drop. You probably need to take time out. So be good to yourself too. Be good. Absolutely. We all want to be good in this world. We should all be good. We should. But right now, be good to yourself. You'll get there and you need to. Take great care. God bless. I'll be seeing you soon. Bye now.